Kevin Feige told everyone exactly what the plan was for the Marvel Cinematic Universe moving forward. Diversity and inclusion and representation, even at the sake of storytelling. They were going to include these characters that have failed time and time again in the comic books, that were rejected by fans because they are not good characters. They are now being forced into the MCU. But unfortunately for Disney and for Marvel, they've painted themselves into a rainbow colored corner because so many of these characters and so much of the identity politics associated with them aren't really acceptable in a lot of other countries that they're trying to expand to. And although before they likely would have just edited it out, not said anything about it, now, with everything they've done with the Florida bill, all the activism that they've surrounded themselves with, all these executives who are committed to pushing an agenda, they can't do that anymore. Now they're being forced to actually uphold these standards that they've been pretending to care about for years, and it's creating a little bit of drama. Doctor Strange sequel banned in Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, and Qatar over LGBTQ superhero. And of course, we're talking about America Chavez. Now, in this movie, I believe she's supposed to be 15 years old, kind of around the same age as the star Sochi Gomez. So it does make you wonder, are they going to actually show her as some sort of LGBTQ character or is going to be focused on her moms and more recent reports do say that it's about her two moms and that Saudi Arabia and all these other countries are requesting that Disney cut it but they've yet to respond officially. New report claims Disney refuses to edit 12 second gay scene from Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness for Saudi Arabian audiences. A new report claims that the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has not actually banned Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness from their country and they're trying to work with Disney to remove a 12 second gay scene from the film in order for the film to be released in the country. And here's the rub. Normally Disney would probably acquiesce and you know, they denied cutting some of the things for the release of Eternals but they also did cut some for some other countries. It was kind of hit or miss what they decided to do. But now they're sitting there with all these activist eyes on them. They said, we care about you, gay people. We care about you so much. We're willing to do anything for you. We're willing to fight for you. Look what allies we are. And now they're being forced to follow through or suffer the consequences from the woke mob. A previous report from Variety claimed the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia was refusing to provide a permit. However, Saudi Arabia has responded and recently spoke to the press via The Guardian and claims the country is not banning the film, but is requesting Disney to edit 12 seconds of the film that includes a gay scene involving America Chavez's two mothers. And America Chavez is one of these characters that has failed time and time again. Everybody hates this character. It can't sell comic books. No one cares. Created purely for diversity and representation's sake with no actual good storyline behind it. And one of the things that we're about to see happen, we're about to see the Disney Star Wars effect where the mainstream media is already setting it up to say, well, if you don't like this character, it's just because you're hateful. Look at all the hate directed towards these actresses. Look at what happened to Rose Tico and Kelly Marie Tran. Look at what happened to Ray Skywalker and Daisy Ridley. We're already seeing it here. Doctor Strange 2 actress harassed on social media over Marvel LGBTQ scene. Now, Sochi Gomez is like 15 or 16 years old. Every time I've talked about this character, I've tried to make it very clear that I'm criticizing the character, not the person who is cast to play the character in any way, shape, or form, especially for someone so young. But of course, there's going to be outlying comments here or there, and the mainstream media is already doing everything they can to try to blame the toxic fans for this. 15-year-old actress Sochi Gomez, who will play America Chavez, has been bombarded with attacks on her most recent Instagram post. The completely unacceptable harassment comes days after Marvel Studios confirmed her character's LGBTQIA status, which has since led to the movie being banned in some regions. Again, not even necessarily what it's being banned for from what we're hearing from the Saudi Arabian authorities. They're saying it's about her moms, not necessarily about the character. You're the reason I can't watch Watch the movie on cinema. Oh, that's so hateful and toxic. Uh, get out of the Marvel Universe. You destroyed Marvel for so many countries refused. We won't see the movie because of your character. I wish nothing but the worst to you. That one's pretty rough. May God deprive you of happiness in your life and your personality. Jesus Christ. Uh, now, she's taking it in stride. Thank you, everyone, for all the supportive DMs. You've all been so kind and lovely. I don't think that a 15 year old actress should be having to like go through that stuff, but that is unfortunately a part of being online. That's something that you see for good or for bad. You know, people are allowed to speak their minds sometimes and it's not always rainbows and sunshine.
Of course they try to compare it to Kelly Marie Tran. Of course they try to compare it to Daisy Ridley, which are not comparable in any way, shape, or form because that's what the mainstream media does. But it's going to be interesting to see what Disney does. Uh, they explained the scene is just America Chavez talking about her moms because she has two moms. And being in the Middle East, it's, a very, it's very tough to pass something like this. Disney has done this to themselves by being so outspoken about all these things, by empowering all of the people associated with it, all the woke activists at their company to continue to preach time and time again. And now they're sitting there not sure what countries this is going to be released in because they're scared now to cut that content out. What do you think about this? Let me know in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.